Welcome back to another episode of This Is My Architecture. Today, I'm joined by Khan, who leads innovation at Vietjet. Hey, Khan. Hi. Thank you for having me today. Great. Thanks for coming in. So I know Vietjet's an airline, but tell us a little bit more. So Vietjet is a young airline from Vietnam. We start with two airplanes, and uh, now we have 75 airplanes in operation, and three, uh, two, 250 airplanes in order. How many passengers do you serve every year? Until now, we serve more than uh, 196 million passengers. Tell us a little bit about some of the challenges you've had. So the, the challenge that we face uh, is the, a loss of request into our system coming from bot and uh, rising router. Now, it affects our customer experience as well as the business because uh, we have some kind of the business closing attack. Mm -hmm. It affects our revenue. Right, absolutely. So, you know, imagine, you know, being able to discern which are the real passengers from the ones that are, yeah, that are yes. not uh, is a challenge. But you've, you've built a solution for this. Yes. I'm really keen to get into it. So walk us through it. Yeah. Okay. So first, when the customer wants to book a ticket from our system, then it will go to the cloud phone. Then uh, from cloud phones, then it will go to the web. So from the web, we elaborate the built-in feature from AWS. So to prevent from prevent the attack from the most common, you know. Mm -hmm. So down here from cloud phone, we also trigger uh, a lambda function at edge. So what we do here is we have some kinds of validator to make sure that the request the Valid or uh, this is a real customer, so not the bot. So if 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 they are the bot, then we will uh, tell the back end us do nothing with this request. Right. So, so you're using WAF for the common like top ten OWASP. Yes. But you've actually added some of your own business logic to yes. be able to identify you know potentially fake customers uh, trying to come through doing this pattern matching with yes. Lambda at Edge. Yeah. Exactly. So if I'm assuming if Obviously, it's, uh, it is a real customer. They get into the booking system. But if yes. they don't, what happens? So if they uh, don't, then uh, from, uh, web, from web, we uh, pull on the lock into uh, Kinesis, Kinesis Firehouse. Mm -hmm. Then we put on the lock into S3 for further analysis. So, I so S3 obviously is a great way to go and store all of the log information. Yes. Uh, where are you actually storing the information from the patterns? So from the button, we tap on the bay log data. Then from here, so. we, we store it. We, uh, we pull on the log and uh, send it to Kinesis Firehouse. And then from there, it's going into S3. Great. So S3 is really your single data lake of all this information. Yes. Okay, so once it's in S3, um, what do you do with it? So, as soon as the log deliver into uh, S3, it will trigger uh, a lambda here. So there's a lot of function here. So we, what we do here is the, we do the transformation, log mm -hmm. from the, uh, the um, plan button from from plant test then into public for well, it's it's good to do we down here we have the uh, antenna so antenna we use to query on the information from S3 so that's why we uh, we have to uh, to uh, transform the log from the mm. the normal form into public it's good for uh, Athena. So Parquet is a great format, uh, very portable format for being able to do different yes. queries and being able to do interactive queries with Athena. Fantastic. Yeah. And so what about QuickSight? So for the QuickSight, we build some the dashboard. Then uh, it will uh, actually it's get data from the Athena. Then from the QuickSight, we, we, we can know the, how our system works. Mm. And actually, we focus on the 
okay, how many bookings which were mapped by IP or by country. Then from that, we, we would know that, okay, we are under attack or not. Mm. If, if we see that, okay, so it may be uh, some kind of attack in our system, we will look back into the, we, we use lab antenna here, then we get the by log, we get the by log of that request, mm. then we do analyze on the uh, data there, then we try to figure out the button. Right, I see. So your business analysts are able to actually visualize yeah. if you're seeing some of these fake bookings, maybe they're trying to make bookings to you know, in a short amount of time or yeah. from places that um, you're not sure of. Okay, so how do you feed that new data back into the, into the pattern? So currently we do it manually. So when we come up with a new pattern, we just update, update it into uh, the Lambda asset here. Khan, that's great. What I really like about this architecture is you're using lots of serverless technologies along with these high order services to really protect your internet booking system. Tell me a bit about the benefits you're seeing with uh, EC2. It will it's help to reduce 90% of traffic back to our backend. The more important thing is it help us protect the revenue mm. from the uh, what booking, so it's kind of the business logic attack. So less auto scaling, less instances to pay for, and you're using that CPU for, yes, for real bookings. Yes, definitely, yes. That's fantastic. Khan, what's next? So the next thing we would like to do in the future is we want to remove the manual thing here. So when we want to automate this, because now we have to have the operation guy look at the dashboard and mm -hmm. see what happened in our system. Maybe it's not good enough, so we think that uh, we, we should leverage some kinds of the machine learning for, for do that kind of thing. So SageMaker is the next one. Great, so looking at some machine learning with SageMaker and, one, uh, and the fact that you've got all of your data in S3 is gonna make that pretty easy to do. Yes. Fantastic. Khan, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your architecture with us today. Yes, thank you. And thank you for joining us on This Is My Architecture.